Bonjour mon petit gifle, Amber here. Amber, why are we so close to your face? That's a really good question. So, today is July, July 8th, I believe. And I still need to film my June wrap, reading wrap up. But as you can see, I'm back in this shirt, this Joe Jonas shirt that I was wearing in whatever the last video I was wearing this shirt in is and when I did my makeup for that video posted it on Twitter and everything I decided that I wanted to kind of recreate it for YouTube properly and I figured I would do a uh, get ready with me wrap up so here we are June was a really weird reading month for me my brain was not in the best place for reading books I read three books which isn't bad but I struggled and trudged through them, not because they were bad books, but because I couldn't really grasp onto anything or um, properly absorb anything that I was reading. I think I tried, I started two books. I tried to, I tried to read Wild Beauty by Anne Marie McLemore, couldn't do it. I tried, I tried to read Girls of Storm and Shadow by Natasha Nan couldn't do it which is devastating and then I finally got to a book that I could finish anyway I'm gonna take my glasses off my lips are kind of red because I just filmed another video and I had lipstick on that I took off so I could start this also you will probably notice that I already have my foundation my base makeup done um, I wanted to save some time since I'm really not talking about too many books I didn't want to use all that time filming um, foundation and contour and all that but all of all of it's Fenty except for the contour which is ABH I'm gonna spritz that all down with this Fenty mist so that the powder doesn't get all cakey have I mentioned lately that I love Rihanna <laughs> this feels really nice by the way so funny I think it was the day I filmed the last get ready with me the last makeup video I was thinking oh I really need like a fan for drying down my sprays and concealer and stuff and then my mom came home with this so winner winner anywho the first book I read like actually read and completed in June oh also I don't think I need to tell you, but June's Pride Month, so all of these books are are by LGBTQIA plus authors and or feature an LGBTQIA plus main character. Anywho, so the first one I finished for June was Full Disclosure by Cameron Garrett. What am I doing? I need to bronze, actually. So this book follows Simone who who's just starting at her new school after sorry she's just starting at her new school after having to leave her old one after people found found out that she is HIV positive and made her life miserable her dad's transferred her to this new school and she is when, at the start of the book, she is building friendship. She is the student director of the school's production of Rent. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I would have given to have been able to do Rent in high school? I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to make myself upset. <laughs> and she is starting to develop feelings for... Um, Miles, who works stage crew for the musical. Uh, I haven't used this blush in a really long time. This is Coralina from Milani. Just feel like the lighter blush goes better with this ensemble. So with the developing crush, she starts thinking more and more about the possibility of sex and what that looks like for for her especially considering that he is HIV negative. So this story 
follows her trying to navigate and uh, also keep her or f figure out the best time to disclose her status. I really enjoyed this book especially considering the state that my brain was in. For one, part of it felt really familiar considering that majority of the plot revolves around putting on a musical, which is my thing. Simone, she, her dream is to eventually direct on Broadway. When I was in high school, my goal was to perform on Broadway. Still one of my goals, but so I just related to that a lot. Once again, I would have done just about anything to have been able to do rent in school see because june was so scattered it, it's gonna take me a minute to like remember all of my thoughts i really enjoyed this oh, i enjoyed it yeah i really enjoyed it yeah yeah i did i think i did i don't remember i liked the book there are tabs in it there are quite a few tabs actually which means i liked it right i didn't write down my thoughts when i finished it one i like how sex positive this book is like a lot of YA books don't really discuss it this way I also appreciate I I think the conversation about HIV is still very important there's still such a stigma around around it and a lot of ignorance ar around the topic and I think this opens for a very important conversation my brain just shut down please hold i'm going to prime my lids with concealer and we're going to start the eyeshadow because this video is feeling a little pointless because i can't remember anything about these books that's why this month for july i made a point to write notes about the books that i'm reading because we struggling I will say that I really, really loved Miles, the character of Miles, despite the fact that my, my cousin's name is Miles, so that's weird. That's a weird thing in and of itself, especially like the farther we go into the book. But <laughs> his character, I loved him so much. Such a sweet, sweet boy. Was this video pointless? Maybe. <laughs> we will notice that I did not do my eyebrows. That was not a mistake, I'm not waiting to do them I just I think at the moment I feel like in the state that they're in considering that I can't really go get them done right now and haven't properly taught myself how to wax my own wax my own eyebrows I think they look better just natural than when I fill them in because when I fill them in they just look bigger and messier so that was full disclosure. I don't think I really talked about it that much, but I liked it. I gave it like a, I think it was like a three and a half stars. So after that book, I picked up a book I was really, really hyped to read. And that book was, that book was All Boys Aren't Blue by George. Is that Focus? I can't even tell. <laughs> I'm hoping it is All Boys Aren't Blue by George M. Johnson, which is a memoir manifesto that basically chronicles him growing up and his journey with his sexuality and his family and um, has a lot to do with the, mo uh, not just a lot, it's uh, a, a story of not just being gay being black and gay and his journey with that and a lot of the issues with homosexuality with homophobia i should say within the black community and it was really really interesting it's all it's hard really to um i guess review or rate a memoir someone else's actual life experience but first we are in case you i don't know if you maybe you didn't watch the video with the shirt or notice my makeup or follow me on twitter which what are you doing but my makeup i really wanted to match the shirt so give you that those tie-dye vibes so i'm using peach punch from the just peach mass palette um i think this is the last thing i've ever bought from too faced so 
there's that and put that in the crease it's hard to properly talk about it in a review format but it was really really interesting his story is really interesting i definitely know think that it is it'll be very important and um i can't think of the word that i want to use right now i know that like a lot of kids will definitely benefit from reading his story and can probably see themselves within the story it does cover a lot of heavy topics i mean but it's someone's life story so a lot of times that's to be expected is it not i like the story for what it is and what i know it'll be for for people at some points like the writing style itself wasn't my favorite i will also say that a lot of his like stories about his family especially his his grandma felt very very familiar and his grandma reminds me a lot of my great grandma so that was really nice to feel like you know it's like oh this is like my family this is this is yeah that's I, I've been there you know I don't know what I'm saying so now this is when Amber gets a little bit petty because part of my choices for this look my eyeshadow choices was because I was feeling petty for no reason these people don't know me but it was as all of this, what are we calling it on the interwebs? The Carmageddon stuff was unfolding. So for majority of this look, I'm using the Life's a Drag palette. I'm also using the Jackie Aina palette. So put those pieces together. Anywho, so like I said, I didn't really get a, give it a rating because it's hard to rate someone's life. That's weird. But I did... It was an easy read and I enjoyed myself reading it and I was able to get through it which also is a miracle. So I'm taking Kai Kai from the palette and I am putting that over the first half of my lid. I don't know why I'm really explaining this. I think this is how I did this if I recall correctly. Okay so while I'm doing this we can talk about the last book that I read in June and I think in it was my favorite read of June and it was Anger is a Gift by Marco Shiro which I've had for a very long time I think almost a year I've had this book just chilling after I've met Mark a few times but, but like I officially met him at the Color Me In launch yes because that's where when nick was there no yeah maybe i think that's the one no no i lied it was the i'm not dying with you tonight launch last summer i could have just said that last summer anyway this book follows moss who we find out a few years ago his father was killed by police wrongfully uh i will admit going into this that it might not have been the best time to actually read the book i loved the book but it was difficult really difficult at times to read the book anyway his father was murdered by the police and ever since he's been plagued with panic attacks and anxiety especially considering the fact that after his father was killed they he his family kind of like obviously got all this attention during like the following rallies and protests and whatnot and news coverage and whatever and that's really affected him and he can't really escape the panic in induced by police presence especially when it kind of leaks over into his school life his school is um 
not the best they are kind of letting it fall into shambles the kids aren't getting provided with what they needed they're they're copying textbooks and using illegal pdfs for english and like the school is literally falling apart and then uh, there's an incident with uh, one of the school police officers which leads to the introduction of metal detectors and like a whole squad of school police for some godforsaken reason at the school and so basically Ma, the story is, is this the story of Moss learning basically that his anger is a gift. There's an incident that propels him into action, basically, propels him to stop giving in to his fear and letting his fear and anger fuel him. And <sighs> y'all, all right, let me. Hold on. Next, I'm using Pageant Queen on the rest of my lid. This book <laughs> hurt a lot. Like I said, um, maybe right now wasn't necessarily the right time to read it, considering everything that's going on right now. And it's just kind of a reflection of everything that's going on right now but I'm glad that I did I I I, I don't know why I didn't know that it was going to I know it was gonna be heavy like obviously but there's there are points where it gets so intense that I can actually feel Moss's anxiety through the page <laughs> because I'm feeling anxious about everything that's going on on the page and just <sighs> when people people go through the list of like social justice YA books I don't know why this one isn't towards the top it was done really well I don't want to compare books I'm not going to compare books it just felt different to then that's the only way I can really describe it than like uh, the hate you give. It can't be compared in any way, really. Now is not the time, sir. And I know a lot of this for the love of Jesus. I know a lot of this was inspired by Mark's own experience. So I just really enjoyed the book. I just really. I cried a lot, but I really enjoyed the book. I definitely highly recommend it. Did I use my finger? I think I just used my finger for that. So last in this palette, no it's not, but for right now, I'm going to use Fishy in my inner corner. Also, I think it's important to mention, again, I think I mentioned it in my vlog itself, that there is a Mark and I had a moment. There's a, a character in this book towards the end named Haley and as I'm reading it I'm just struck with the fact that I know that like myself Mark is a big Paramore Haley Williams fan so I t <laughs> I had tweeted about it I was like convinced basically that's paraphrasing I'm convinced convincing myself that this character is named after um at Yaya Williams so like I said before not only did Mark confirm that but then Miss Williams if you nasty herself <laughs> replied him to the tweet like oh is this a book I should buy so I'm like if Haley buys this book I'm taking full credit I just want y'all to know I just want y'all to know <sighs> I it's been like a week since that happened and I'm really really not over it yet because that's my queen and she knows that I'm alive and just how did we get here I don't think a single thing that I said in this video made sense I'm not done with the look though but those are the books that I read 
this month or last month rather I wanted to have read more books and I'm irritated that I didn't but what are you gonna do so what am I gonna do right now actually is I'm going in first next bit's gonna all seem redundant and pointless like you could have just used one color but I'm not going to so deal with it so first I'm going into this color pop palette that I made myself it's just full of like uh, shimmers and metallics and glitters and stuff and I'm taking this one earth shine right can you see that and let me put it back in here before I drop it I'm first taking that right and I'm putting that over the pink part of my lid to make it more one shimmery because shimmer fixes everything and that's going to make it look a little bit more pastel to match the shirt oh, there all the color the shimmer colors you could have used you could have just used the same one and i'm going to ask you to mind your business so now it's july and i've already i just finished my second of the month um this month i was really in a romance mood so first two books that I read are both romance books. I read The Romance Book Club by Lissa K. Brown. I think that's her name. And then I read Take a Hint Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert who I absolutely adore. And that book was absolutely everything. My lord. Y'all. Y'all. Anywho. So next I'm taking this loose pigment also by ColourPop. This is from the uh, one of Kathleen Light's collabs and this is the shade The Crab. Um, she did like a, the Zodiac collection. I didn't get any Virgo for the Virgo powder because this one's like my favorite color. I'm taking this because it's like a nice periwinkle. I'm taking that over the purple bit. First I'm patting that over the purple and like it's similar in color yeah I know and I'm taking the excess over the rest of it and blending it together because because I know I could have just used one color but I didn't ask so and now since I finished those two romances since I finished those two romances the next step is to go back into fantasy I have a few lined up for the rest of the month so while I'm finishing this eye Another thing that we can chat about, I don't even know, has this been out of focus the whole time? Or am I seeing it out of focus because I don't have my glasses on? Another thing we can chat about, two things. One, I don't know if you know, I don't know if you've actually been looking in my description boxes. You should really, you should really. But I've been, does that, that doesn't look at all like how it did the other day. Anyway, I've been running this candle fundraiser on my Etsy where I made a candle that I am using to donate proceeds to the NAACP Legal Defense and Educational Fund. So if you're interested in one of those and in supporting the cause, the link has been down below for like, what, a month now? Oh, sorry. And I appreciate it if you checked out or at least shared it. And then the second thing, actually, before I do tell you that, I'm now going over the inner corner with trust issues from the Jackie Ina palette. Like I said, I could have just used one shade, but I didn't. So the second thing is I am now a bookshop.org affiliate. Ooh, don't drop that in that. Which means that if you when you're book shopping, if you use my link to order books, I get paid. So if you're interested in supporting me in that way, the link is down below. I think it's, I don't know why it's taken me this long to do it considering that bookshop is the only place I'm buying books from right now. You know, I'm really into supporting indie bookstores, especially right now, especially when I can't get to the bookstore right now I mean I can because I think Barnes and Noble's open again but I'm really not trying to go anywhere I don't have to 
not yet so actually before i do that the last thing i want to do in this palette is i'm going to use kiki up here this little minty teal that's not teal and i'm putting that on under my lash line i hate smoking up my lash line like it looks cool when you first do it looks good when you first do it but for me one i sweat so it'll be down near my nose in no time and two when i actually wear mascara down there it you can't see the color because my lashes are long but i just really want to kind of like incorporate as many color from this shirt as possible i really do love this palette though i bought it i only bought it when i did because i needed this yellow campy for paramore when i was going to the art and friends show in nashville for my birthday which was like the last after laughter show which was incredible and i loved being able to be there for that so i was doing a look inspired by the album cover the after laughter album cover and i needed a yellow and because i was going to use my nyx ultimate brights for that yellow barely shows up so i think it was jackie ina that did a review of the the palette and she used the yellow and i'm like i need it i bought it simply for the yellow and didn't realize that beat would become like my favorite inner corner highlight so i'm thinking about i'm thinking about ordering or looking into manny's brand again because like why did we cancel him again because juju b starfish told us to please <laughs> please of of all people to be canceled So the last thing I'm going to do to my eyes, this is the scary part and this is the part where I could mess up everything that I did and that's what I kind of did the last time but you know, you can fake a good angle. Where did it go? We're going to do some eyeliner and that's only scary because I'm doing a double liner and where one of the, one of these wings is go wings one of one of these is going in my crease and this is the fir first time i did it it ended up really shaky and um gross but i don't know where my gel eyeliner is that would probably probably be the better option and also because i don't know if you can see it but this eyeliner the eyeliner that i use has like this little not my face please can you see it a little bally at the tip so that's gonna make a straight line in my crease difficult but we're gonna just go with it first. So let me show you what it looks like before I mess it up. <laughs> All right, pray for me. Actually, let me get the mirror. Where's my fancy, 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 fancy. even cousins today I don't think so you know how I say sisters not twins well, I'm pretty sure these are distant cousins who see each other every few years at family reunions so now the scary part I'm gonna keep you there I'm not gonna zoom you any closer I'm gonna try to do this slowly along my crease first I'm gonna do the little wing literally don't even remember how I did this though. So. Yeah, it's, this is a very shaky line. It's not even necessarily shaky. It's because of the little ball. You see how? Yeah, all right. I am not. I am not Nikki tutorials. That one's not bad, actually. Not in comparison to that. Don't. And just like that, she messed it up. 
You get the idea. You get the idea. So the last thing I'm going to do is mascara. And just like almost everything else on my face, I'm using Fenty because, you know. Mind your business. That Brianna owns my, my wallet. Like she should just, her name should be on my bank account at this point, you know. I do love this mascara though. And I used to try to preserve it for occasions, but <laughs> I don't even know what an occasion is anymore. What am I saving mascara for? I'm not going anywhere. I also have that should go for this the way I did this. That Pat McGrath one that I have somewhere, I don't remember where I put it, that I think I've used, what, twice? For the same reason. That was a gross note because I was singing Lynn and Jasmine's note at the same time. Love that for me. Hello, I'm back. My camera died, no, or cut off in the middle of me singing Hamilton because it's like, yeah, girl, we know. We get it. So anyway, um, I have laid my brows down with this brow gel, ColourPop brow gel, because the ends are bushy. And then I highlighted with the Artist Couture Jackie Ina La Peach because it's my favorite highlighter. So that's about everything. I won't be satisfied. Satisfied, I'm gonna be satisfied. Until I can perfect this upper liner, which means I have to get a new eyeliner which you know it's fine but yeah thank you for watching this mess <laughs> hope your july is going well so far i don't know when this is going to go up so it could very well be the middle of july by the time this goes up thank you for watching did i say that already regardless thank you for watching um i hope you like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you like me that was my refrigerator if you like me feel free to subscribe all my places are down here so you can follow me and i'll follow you back and i'll see you very soon